Hi you guys, so I'm really excited about this video. I'm a little bit nervous about this video, but the reason why I'm making this video is I am going to share something that I've wrestled with deciding about for the past probably two years. And today I made the decision and I think it's something you guys should know about. I have had this fear, especially ever since having kids, that someday when I'm old, I'm gonna wake up and realize how much of my life I wasted on my phone, realize how much of my life I wasted on social media, and I'm gonna super regret it. And I'm gonna feel like it was not worth the time of not being present with my kids, of not investing in the relationships I have right in front of me, of not spending more time with God and reading my Bible and praying. So today I made the decision that 99% of my social media is going out the window. It's really cool when you can see God work through such obvious ways that you know there's no other way to explain it. So when I started thinking in late December about how I wanted to spend 2022 and the things that I wanted to learn, there were three big things that stood out to me. One is that I really wanna to get to know God. I wanna spend a lot of time praying. That's the next thing. The last thing that I really want to be true of 2022 is I want to have more intentional relationships with the people that God's placed right in front of me, be it my family, be it women at church, be it really close, wonderful friends that I have that I don't spend enough time with. So whenever I think of these three things and I think why they're not happening, the thing it always comes down to is the same exact culprit. And now I'm gonna introduce you. It's this object right here. I am so ready to be done with so many of the things on this device and I'm really excited to share with you guys. So, today I was praying, writing in my prayer journal this morning when I first got up. I've been doing this diligently for about a year but really started focusing this January on praying that I would get to know God better and that I would start really seeking Him in prayer. So this is something that I wrote today, I think it's really cool. Teach me, reveal to me if there are things I need to completely cast aside in order to truly know you, Lord. And the really interesting thing is that leading up until recently, there have been certain dreams I have that I felt like, oh, if God asked me to give that up, like that would be so hard. I don't wanna really like completely open up my hands. And if he told me you need to give that up, be willing to give that up. And recently I've just felt like, you know what? like. I, for the first time in a long time, feel very willing to give certain dreams or goals up if they're not moving me towards God. And so I prayed that this morning and like four hours later, I started listening to this podcast by Now That We're a Family. I'll try and link it down below, but if I can't for some reason figure out how to do that, it's called like why we gave up our iPhones or something like that. But anyway, in this awesome podcast, this couple's sharing about why they chose to give up their iPhones and how they are navigating their life as business owners without iPhones. Like 10 minutes in, I just felt so convicted. And I just felt like, you know what? This is the answer to the exact prayer that I was praying this morning, that I've been praying all of this month, that I've been desiring to know how to accomplish this year. And so I wrote down a list and I wanna share with you guys what I'm doing, what I'm getting rid of so you guys know. If I stop replying, if you don't see me on these certain platforms anymore, why? They shared a lot of great reasons in the podcast why they got rid of their iPhones. While I share some of the same reasons, a lot of mine have to do with like, I really want more time and I really want no distractions so that I can spend more time with God, so that I can spend more time with my kids, so that when I'm with my kids, I don't have a podcast always playing in the background. I don't always have a YouTube video playing or I don't always have my brain so full of whatever it is that I just listened to 10 minutes ago that I'm still not present with them. I just feel like that's such a loss. So I deleted my Facebook, which I haven't really been active on in about a year anyway, but whenever I do get on it to look on Marketplace or anything, I'm just tempted to scroll. So I got rid of that. I'm deleting my YouTube app, so the only way I'll be able to get on YouTube is when I go into town to upload this video. So I'm not gonna have that option anymore. Luckily with all my video editing, I don't ever have to get on YouTube except when I go to upload it. So I can completely get rid of that. I'm deleting all unedifying podcasts. So this left me with four that actually spiritually edify me. I'm deleting Pinterest, which I've always been able to justify having Pinterest because I get recipes off of there. I get a lot of like house decorating inspiration. And I've just realized, am I getting inspiration for my home or am I getting discontent with my home? And I think a lot more of it actually comes from being discontent. 
This little lady just woke up from her nap, so she's gonna join us. But anyway, I think a big reason why I never feel like I can figure out my style is because with all types of companies or like on Pinterest or whatever, they're always trying to slightly change what's trendy or what's in style or what you like. So you're always having to buy new things. So I'm really excited to get rid of that and just have a authentic, real styled home that is completely my own and not influenced by what's trendy. The hardest thing that I am deleting is Instagram. I have about two years worth of stuff that I've written that is really dear to my heart on there. But when I think about it, a huge reason why I have Instagram is because I've wanted to build the relationships I have with you ladies so that if I write a book someday, I'll have someone that is interested in reading it. It's also a place that I really enjoy just creating free content. I love writing what I'm learning about, what is encouraging me in motherhood and such. But literally, if I spent all the time I waste on Instagram writing, sitting down on my laptop and actually working on something, I would have something by now that I could give you guys. So I'm deleting that as well. If you want to contact me, you can of course email me. I'll have an email down below. However, if you email me intimate sex questions, I will not be responding. I'm sick of dealing with those. So you can email me other things, but I won't be responding to those. Also, you can comment and I can communicate with you somewhat that way. I'm really excited to have more time to actually do that now and put time and energy and really intentionality into the comments that I send back to you ladies because I won't be on my phone so much. I'm also really excited with being able to create higher quality videos because I'll have more time. So as I'm thinking too about what it is that I want to replace this time I'm spending on my phone with that's actually valuable, I started to write down a list and these are just a few things I thought of. Becoming a better cook, focusing a lot on fitness, of course, like I said, reading my Bible and praying, investing more in relationships, spending more time helping my husband, Piano practice, I really want to get where I'm more confident playing the piano in front of people because I'm not learning from other women in our church that are a lot farther along than me. Keeping a well-kept, tidy, welcoming home, writing more often, self-care, which brings me to sharing with you guys this super cool box. So I want to say, I never want you guys to feel pressured to buy things you cannot afford. So if you cannot afford, to buy this Simply Earth subscription box that I get every month. Do not feel like you need to. If, however, you are interested in getting more into like a non-toxic, pure home, I really highly recommend their company. I really love them. Let me jump it in. Can you stir it really carefully? Okay, uh -huh. mommy gets to dump it in now, ready? But this box for this month is a bonus box. You get this box for free, and then you get the regular oil box with recipes as well. And this is all focused around skincare. So now that I hopefully will have a lot more time, I mean a lot more time because I waste a lot of time on my phone. Um, that's something that I wanna focus on having healthier skin, dressing more nicely, putting more effort into my hair and doing my makeup and just looking nice and neat. I'm excited to do that and spend some time in that area. Spending a lot more time reading is another thing that I'm super excited about. And a huge reason why I don't read as much as I would like is because I get distracted on my phone. And I can also really easily justify being on my phone because it's educational, I'm learning things. And I've just realized that I would be a lot more intentional about what it is I choose to spend my time learning if I had to go out and actually purchase the book and do a lot more hands-on reading and studying and putting time and energy into what it is that I wanna know versus just kind of falling down this huge deep tunnel until I'm watching something that I'm like, how did I even get here? Like, this isn't even something that I'm interested in. This is something I can in no way change about our world. And so I'm really excited about this, as you can probably tell. I'm so excited to be able to focus more on my kids and to not always be so distracted. And I'm so excited to find more healthy things that I can put into my mind instead. And I've just had so many awakenings this past year about these things I've always thought are a waste of time or these things I felt like we're so efficient nowadays. We're so beyond those days of, you know, setting a nice table and spending time with family. And I've just really 
felt the need to go back to some more old-fashioned, old-fashioned type things. And I've seen the real value in them. And I've seen so much how much we as a culture waste our time and our energy and our lives on things that do not matter in the end. So that's kind of what I had to share for you guys. I am not saying that for anyone else this is the right decision, but I definitely feel like it's the right decision for me. It's the right decision for my family. I'm really excited to have more time doing things and putting my energy and my mental abilities into things that actually matter to me and that will actually benefit our family. I don't know if this will last a year. I don't know if this is permanent, but at least for now, I very much feel convicted that I need to leave those platforms. So. Love you guys. Bye. Me and me and hide it.